What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here, today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today guys I want to talk about the possibility of old classic Destiny 1 weapons actually returning. Now I know these are known as reskins in a sense that I am going to suggest but these weapons today I want to check out might in fact not just be reskins as we know them but actually weapons we loved remade. For instance, the truth is returning. The truth will be a weapon we all remember from Destiny 1. The weapons I want to talk about today I don't think are exotic, but indeed they could be. But actual old weapons we loved, just remade, bearing the characteristics we loved about them back in the day. Because if we look at some of these weapons we have seen in the Season of Opulence preview, many are very reminiscent to those of weapons we loved in the past. Starting with... The IS Luna. But before we go any further, guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really does help me out, and I do appreciate that support. Okay, so the IS Luna. I think we all noticed this straight away within the season of Opulence trailer when we saw this. I mean, this model, this hand cannon, this weapon, it's the IS Luna. And I also think it's a new model to Destiny 2. As far as I know, I don't think there is any other weapon shaped as the Ayers Luna or any reskinned Ayers Lunas in the games. I'm not certain on that, but I don't think there is. And it's for this very reason I do believe this weapon will be indeed some kind of relative or evolved version of the Ayers Luna. And if you think about it people, this idea isn't new either, Bungie have already done this in Destiny 1. If you guys remember the old school Vortal Glass, some of the weapons from there, the Atheon's Epilogue, the Corrective Measure, the Fate Bringer, a massive fan favourite. These all started out as legendary weapons but they did return later on in the game as exotics. And that's just one instance of Bungie bringing back all the weapons as new and improved ones. We've seen it already as well in Destiny 2. We've seen old legendary weapons basically brought back with kind of updated versions and a little added colour. This happened with the forge, we saw many forge weapons being nothing but older weapons with newer perks. So the idea has been included before. So are Bungie taking it one step further and bringing back a few of our favourite weapons from Destiny 1, giving them an evolved look but allowing them to keep the qualities we loved about them back in Destiny 1? I think this might be the case people. So yeah, the Aya Saluna, a fan favourite for many many people. All chasing that perfect draw with range finder and looking in the chamber or whatever that perk was you wanted. Could this new version behold a role with a new version of Luck in the Chamber? You never know. The Aya Saluna I believe within its lore also was related to the Hawk Moon. I mean I could be wrong here but I'm pretty sure it was or its name was related somehow. Correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comment section people. Also guys, look at this sniper rifle. Again, it looks very reminiscent to an old fan favourite known as the LDR 5001. How many of you people, how many of you snipers out there would love to see this return? Also look at the shotgun, look at the fusion. Many old Destiny 1 weapons were made on these base models. Now I know this is Bungie and reskinning is what they do amazingly. It's just the fact that this IS Luna reskin, it's got me thinking so I just had to document my thoughts. Plus I've also seen many folks on my Twitter feed speculating the same thing. So what do you think about this? Let me know down below in that comment section. Reskinned weapons, remade weapons or new reskins? <laughs> what do you think? Okay so let's move on. Now guys take a look at this image. Everything on here looks either exotic or has something going for it. Well that is everything besides this white hand cannon we see at the centre. Why is this here? Why is this special? Well people, I think I might have the answer. If we take a real close look at this weapon, one would argue that this is the base of the Fawn hand cannon exotic. When you compare them like this side by side or even overlay them, this weapon is 100% the weapon the Fawn was built off. So could this be the Rose or something of similar? I'm seeing again loads of people on my Twitter speculate over this and maybe there's something to it. Now I know within the law the Rose shouldn't no longer exist but that goes for many things that are in the game now so let's forget the law for a quick second. What I believe this weapon will be is a quest weapon in which we as Guardians have to work towards and evolve. This weapon as it is probably isn't the Rose or the final form of this weapon. That will be that of something we evolve along the steps of a quest towards the Lumina, an exotic quest which comes on July 2nd. 
so the Lumina, this quest. This is why I believe we are seeing this white hand cannon stand amongst these other special gear pieces. This is a hint purposely brought in place by Bungie. If we are to take a closer look at the Lumina, we see white or yellow thorns, those are normally and commonly found on roses, but if you ignore them, also ignore the white this weapon bears, you can see the black the darkness of this weapon looks to be that of the thorn hand cannon. So I definitely think these weapons are tied somehow. Also the fact the base of the handle has what looks to be a rose on it. So yeah, there's definitely more to this. What do you think? Thorn, Malfeasance, Lumina, all a part of the same family? You tell me. Let's just hope this isn't an ornament for the Malfeasance. I mean, that would just be a right kick in the balls for sure. Okay, so moving on, and we also see, by the way, people, the return of the Truth Rocket Launcher. This comes via a quest line on June 11th, and we also see the return of the Kepru Sting Hunter Exotic Gauntlets. These exotic gauntlets had an intrinsic perk called the Touch of Venom, gaining visibility after crouching in place for a short time. Melee attacking an enemy from behind while invisible delivers four times the damage. Fun times. So guys, by the looks of opulence, we are getting many reskinned weapons, and I know that annoys many people. But to me, I'm fine with it. Content is content, and Destiny 2 needs it. Whether that's old, recycled rewards or not, it's still better than getting no content whatsoever. So I will take it. Besides that, the raid, the new six player activity, and so forth is all new stuff. So I'm good with them recycling old stuff also. But I know many of you people don't agree with me on that, which is fine. Let me know your opinion on that down below within that comments section. But anyway guys, just a quick video with my opinion on possible classic weapons returning and a new interest in what could possibly be the roles coming under a new name of Lumina. We will see people. If any new info drops, I'll be sure to have you guys covered right here on my channel. On that note, I am out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like, it really does help out. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.